morning guys, it is 8 o'clock, Tuesday morning, and I'm uh, headed to school, I'm selling my uh, recent, more recent Dragonfly, I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but uh, yeah, I ended up putting the Dragonfly itself on a stake, or on a fence post. And um, I thought it would really take off. I really did. I thought that I'd be making 10 or 20 of them this weekend. But nobody wants them. Well, one guy wants them, but I don't know. I, I guess the legs are better. So I'm going to have to go back to making legs. And I hate making the legs. I really do because it's just such a pain in the ass. you got to bend them and then you got to weld them on and then sometimes they don't sit properly so then you gotta re-bend them and then sometimes when you re-bend them you break the weld then you gotta go back and re-weld them then <laughs> you gotta uh, try and sit them down again and then again <laughs> you know it's like a, a vicious circle you know it's like you gotta do everything just right or everything falls apart and I mean I've had it where I delivered a um a dragonfly and a leg fell off and it's like uh oh I'm like well um can you fix that I'm like yeah I can fix it but in my head I'm thinking there goes my that sale you know and uh they usually buy them but I don't get the money that I'm expecting that day which really sucks so I just got done with school I'm almost to uh pick up Jack you're almost there I think I'm going to have to go and have my knee looked at. I really do. It's just like, it's getting worse and worse. I've had nights now where I haven't slept. All because of my right knee. And my, what happened with that was I was skiing back when I used to work at Granite Peak or Rib Mountain, what it used to be called. Um, and um, I was going through the trees and my ski caught a rut. Root? Rut. Um, and turned the whole bottom of half of my leg uh, you know that way and tore a bunch of tendons and I was in a brace for three months I think oh man it fudged up my knee let me tell you badly and so I've had knee problems ever since then I can't even ski anymore because of it and um but I'm really like problems with it now. It swells up really bad. Every six months they drain fluid out of it. Every six to eight months. But now it's just like, it's turning colors on me and it just feels like it's gonna explode almost. It just, oh, it hurts so bad. So I just made a doctor's appointment. The problem with that is I'm moving. Do I go and see a doctor now or do I wait until after I'm done moving? I don't know. I don't know where to go with that one. I'm thinking maybe I should wait. I'll talk to the wife about it. What do you guys think? Hey guys, so it's the 3rd of May today. I'm actually heading back to school. <laughs> I, I know I didn't film anything at all except for going to and from school. And I'm doing it again. I don't know. This is not going to be a very interesting vlog. I gotta do something fun here. Well, I do have to go down to the woods this weekend, but that's this weekend. I start taking deer stands down. We gotta take down the um, playground. And we've got to load up more scrap metal and take the trailers in. Have John come over, help him take his deer stand down. And I've got a doctor's appointment next Thursday for my right knee, which has been absolutely horrible. The la last night was really bad. I actually got home from school and my knee was huge and purple. So I was like, okay, so I put ice on it, you know, and it was throbbing. It felt like, well, what I would envision stabbing as. It was a very sharp, prominent stabbing pain right in that muscle above your kneecap. Uh, it's 
on my right knee it's to the left and above my kneecap that muscle right there and it's all bruised around the muscle so then I was like well all right so I hung out with the ice on it for a little while and I was like well this ain't working so then I went in the hot tub that definitely didn't work that was hell and um, then I went in and I um, just put my brace on and bit my tongue you know and that was about all I could do I took a bunch of ibuprofen so I've got the knee problem and moving happening here and um, I just hope that my knee kind of levels off and stops because I got to move and I can't put it off so I'm just going to have to bite the bullet and deal with it I guess I don't know hey guys back on the road again Amanda's got an interview and uh, so that's where we're going right now but it's a two hour drive just to get there <laughs> but it is what it is um, we've got to, you know, we're moving, we need employment, so we got to do what we got to do. Isn't she pretty? Isn't she pretty here? Got all dressed up. But, um, yeah, I was going to ask you guys, if there's anybody in Marinette County that watches my videos, um, could you, and, and you've got hunting property, let me know. Text me, or not text me, but message me either on here, on, on YouTube, or on Facebook. And um, let me know if you guys have any property available for me. Because uh, if I want to keep making hunting videos, I'm going to need some property to, to hunt on. But anyway, I'll catch up with you guys when we get there. So now, we're in the town. I'm not going to say where. But we are currently waiting for this to... Oh, no, oh, there's flatbeds. Shit, I thought it was done, but I guess not. That's loud. Anyway, um, kids are in the back. Jack's watching a movie, as you can hear, as he's playing with her stupid Minecraft shit. And I'm just sitting here. I wanted to take them to a park... And Amanda's interview should last about an hour, and it's two o'clock now, so she might be done by three. We've been sitting here for 20 minutes now, just waiting for this train, so I can get to this really cool park on the other side, but I don't know, by the time the train is gone, I'm gonna turn around and go pick up Amanda. But, um, yeah, as he said, or Jack's having fun with his ta new tablet. I mean, we had it, this Kindle that Ezzy's grandpa gave her, and um, or Amanda's dad, and uh, it was such a piece of shit. It was a Kindle, Kindle Fire. And those things are such crap. And a buddy of mine was like, well, I'll trade you my Lenovo, you know, Android tablet for that. I was like, why? He's like, I've always wanted one just to see what it's like. And I'm like, you're not missing out on anything. He's like, do you want it or not? I'm like, deal, let's do it. So really nice little tablet he got there well I got it's my, it's my tablet but I'll let the kids play with it um yeah so uh, update on the U-Haul we got that all taken care of we got that paid for gonna start packing this week or this weekend and throughout the week and um you know what no I think we're gonna stay home I don't want to move. Right? Him. Let's just stay there. What? At the house. Yeah, right. Anyway, no, we're all getting closer and closer to the moving day, which will be on uh, about May 30th is when I'm getting the U-Haul. And, um, oh, and on. we're back. That's what's going on. 
Waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and more waiting. No way. <gasps> Look what I see. Uh, finally! It's been a half an hour. We've been here a half an hour. Wow, about damn time. Go get her! <laughs> Where'd she go? Well, go get her! I'm gonna eat the baby. I'm gonna, I'm hungry. Nom, 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 nom. Hey, get <laughs> <laughs> you gonna throw it? No, okay. He said it's weird. Fascination with rocks lately. Go get her. Where does he go? Where is she? She's way up there. Oh, is that duck duck poop? Come on. Get that goose. <laughs> Can you scare him? Scare that goose. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Alright, so that was a nice little walk. We did this entire loop over here. It goes down there and around. And it comes up over this hill and we end up back at the car. And believe it or not, Jack did the whole thing in swamper boots. <laughs> Didn't fuss or complain or anything about it. I could not believe it. God, that was cool. Mom. Look at this. Uh, this is what I was going to get if I didn't get the uh, Pathfinder. Nissan Xterra. It's a little smaller, but it's a little beefier too. But um, if I'm if I'm ever like when the kids are older and have their own vehicles or whatever. That's probably one of the vehicles I'm gonna get. Nice little four by four. There's another, yeah, there's another trail over here too. For those of you that haven't figured it out, we are on the or on the shoreline of uh, Lake Michigan right now. At a town, I'm not gonna say where. Um, you know, like I said, for Amanda's job interview. But it is 5 to 3 now, so she should be getting done any minute. It's actually 2.59. Oh, is it? Okay. Yeah. Oh, this road sucks so bad. Oh. Holy hell. There they got the dogs. Sitting out the window. <laughs> That's cute. Yeah, ha, 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 yeah, Jack goes, <laughs> for dogs. Say, ruff, ruff. Yeah, kind of. Go, ruff, ruff. Ow. And he goes, ow, instead. There you go, ruff, ruff. It's almost like he's a year behind. Like he's just starting to mimic animals now. What does a horse say? Yeah. What? Yeah, what does a dog, a, um, a cow say? Okay, what does a cat say? Yeah. What? Yeah. What? Yeah. Okay, what does a dog say? Ruff, ruff. See, like, that's what I mean. He's doing things now he should have been doing when he was a year, year and a half or so. So I think and he's a little behind here. Kind of like me. I was like that too. But anyway, all right. Uh, let's go get Amanda. See, this is why I bought that ca this camera. Look at that. Zoom right in on them. Focus. Here somewhere. Sorry, it's shaky, guys. <laughs> yeah, I'm on my way home. And look what I got. <laughs> I 
I got my gun back. Yay! Um, finally got stuff cleared up. Finally was able to get approved. It took some work, but I think what it was was they had the wrong guy. They had me mistaken for somebody else. And um, so, yeah, I'm happy. I'm very happy. I got my gun back. I mean, I'm not happy, happy, because I've still got to move, but that's windy. But yeah, oh my God, what a day. Oh God, it was so long. Drove all the way over to the city. I'm sorry, I'm not saying where, but um, Amanda had her interview along with allergies in her eye, and she really was miserable. Uh -oh. Phone's vibrating. And um, then we had to drive two hours back, and oh my god, it was just a hassle. And then Jack was a pain in the ass, and was crying and having a fit every ten minutes, it seemed. And he had everything he wanted. He had uh, um, his tablet, he had his little cell phone, he had his snacks, he had his drinks. He was just sick of sitting all day, you know. I can't blame him for that. But I just got back from John's for a shooting. And um, now I'm gonna go home and uh, we're gonna burn some more copper, I think. And eat something and I don't know, we'll, we'll go from there. But it was a very busy, unproductive day, except for getting my gun back. Nope, no fire. Oh, there's Amanda. Call her one eye. <laughs> she don't like that. I told her, I'm like, hey, honey, you can borrow Jack's patch. He's got a little pirate patch. I'm like, you can borrow his patch. He's like, ha, 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 asshole. Oh, yeah, Jack says asshole. <laughs> you guys got to hear this. Oh, hey, Jack. Come here. Say, asshole. say, asshole. <laughs> Say it again. Asshole. Say asshole. Look at daddy. Hey, look. Look, who is that? Say asshole. Hey, <laughs> Aren't we good parents? I'm zoomed way in here. Yeah. One little swear word ain't gonna hurt.